Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Maria from Crochet Fashion and in this video you will see how to crochet lazy square motif. Made of chain spaces and travel crochet. For work I will use 1.4 mm crochet hook and a ball of 100% mercerized cotton yarn. You can choose your favorite color of yarn. Let's crochet the motif. Make a chain of 10 for the foundation ring. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. My foundation ring is ready. Let's crochet the first round. For this chain of 3 to bring up the yarn, yarn over the hook twice, make 2 treble crochet not finish, 1, 2, and pull through all loops on the hook. Then chain of 5 for the chain space, 1, 2, 3. 4, 5. Yarn over the hook twice. Make treble crochet 3 times. First one. Make the second one. The third one. And pull through loops on the hook. Chain of 5 for the chain space. Make treble crochet three times. I do not finish all my stitches. I pull my all stitches like this. Let's crochet my stitches. One, two, and three. And pull through loops on the hook. Fade chain of 5 for the chain space. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. In total, it should be 12 such clusters. Or you can count only chain spaces. In total, it should be 12 of them as well. I am done all 12 chain spaces. To complete this round, insert the hook into the top of my cluster, make a slip stitch. My round 1 is ready, let's crochet round 2. Insert the hook into the first chain stitch of the chain space and make the second slip stitch into the next chain stitch of the chain space. Then chain of 3 to bring up the yarn to begin the next round. Make 2 treble crochet, not finish. 1 and 2. And pull through loops on the hook. Chain of 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Make 3 treble crochet, not finish. 1, 2, and 3. And pull through loops on the hook. Make 5 chain space 3 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And single crochet. Then chain of 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, and single crochet, and chain of 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and yarn over the hook twice, insert the hook into the chain space, and make 3 treble crochet not finish, 1, 
two, three, and pull through all loops on the hook. One, two, three, four, five, and three treble crochet knot finish. One, two, three, pull throw loops on the hook. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete it. I'm about to complete round two. Once I have done five chain space, insert the hook into the top, make a slip stitch. My round two is ready, let's crochet round three. Make two slip stitches for the next round, one, two, let's crochet round three. As I did before, chain of three to wink of the yarn. And two treble crochet one together. And pull through loops on the hook. Chain of five, one, two, three, four, five. And treble crochet three together. One, two, and the third one. I make in the same way as I did in the previous round. Pull through loops on the hook. Chain of five for the chain space one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and single crochet. Chain of five, one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet. One, two, three, four, five chains and make and make in the same way as I did here in the first corner. Make treble crochet three together. One, two, three, and pull through all loops on the hook. Chain of five, one, two, three, four, five, and treble crochet three together. One, two, three, and pull through loops on the hook. Keep working this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete this round. Let's complete round three with me. I have got delicate and lacy square motif. Insert the hook into the top of my stitches. Make a slip stitch. Round three is ready. Let's crochet round four. For this, make two slip stitches. One and two. Chain of three to bring up the yarn. Make Treble crochet two together, one, two, pull through loops on the hook. Then chain of five for the chain space, one, two, three, four, five. And treble crochet three together into the same chain space. One, two, three so i am crocheting faster because i repeat my pattern pull through loops on the hook chain of five one two three four five insert the hook into the chain space make single crochet one two three four five and single crochet One, two, three, four, five, and single crochet. One, two, three, 
four, five, and single crochet. Here what I have one, two, three, four, five, and treble crochet three together. First one, make the second one three and pull through all loops on the hook one two three four five and treble crochet three together into the same chain space one two three pull through all loops on the hook one two three four five and single crochet keep working in this way till the end of this round i'm about complete round four insert the hook into the top of my stitches make a slip stitch round four is ready here how my motif looks like at this point Work with the slip stitches for the next round. One, two, chain of three to bring up the yarn, and treble crochet two together as I did before. One and two. And pull through loops on the hook continue this row will be the same like the previous one but this one have small difference make chain of six instead of chain of five so in this row i'm going to work with six chain spaces and treble crochet three together one two and three and pull through loops on the hook one two three four five six and single crochet chain of six one two three four five six and single crochet chain of six one two three four five six and single crochet chain of six one two three four five six and single crochet one two three four five six and single crochet one two three four five six yarn over the hook twice and let's make my corner make treble crochet three together one two and three pull through loops on the hook one two three four five six make the first one Treble crochet three together, two, three, pull through loops on the hook, chain of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and single crochet. Keep working in this way till the end of this round, then I will show you how to complete it. Let's complete round five. As I did before, insert the hook into the top, make a slip stitch. My round five is ready. Let's stop and look. I have done five rounds. Let's crochet round six. It is going to be the last round. For this, make two slip stitches. One, two, one two three chains and treble crochet two together one two 
and pull through loops on the hook. In this case, I'm going to work on seven chain space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And treble crochet three together. One, two, three. And pull through loops on the hook. Chain of seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And single crochet chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And single crochet chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And single crochet chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and single crochet. And so on. Chain of seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and single crochet. Chain of seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then treble crochet three together. Two, three, and pull through loops on the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and treble crochet three together. One, two, and three. Pull through all loops on the hook. Chain of seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and single crochet. Keep working this way till the end of this round. This is the last round of my square motif. Then I will show you how to complete this round and this motif. Here how it looks like. Now I show you how to complete it. This is round 6. I chain the last one. Insert the hook into the top. Make a slip stitch. To secure the yarn by making a chain. I have already cut off my yarn. Let's look at it. Turn the work to the back side and you should remove all yarns and leftovers along the stitches on the back side of the motif using the sewing needle or crochet hook. My beautiful lacy motif is ready. Next time you will see how to join such motifs together in large piece of work using the last round of crocheting in the current motif. And at this point you will see how to join my current motif to a another three. As you can see I have already joined three motifs together. There is my current motif in the corner. I didn't finish it. And while making the last round of my current motif I show you how to join my current motif to another two. Let's join. I will start from the first side. According to my pattern I have to do chain of 7. Instead of chain of 7, I am making chain of 3. And instead of next chain stitch, I am making single crochet to join my two motifs together. I take my top motif, I put my chain space in the corner and count 1, 2, 3. Insert the hook into the fourth 
chain stitch in the foundation chain and make single crochet into the fourth chain stitch chain of three one two three and treble crochet three together one two three and pull through continue chain of seven for this instead of seven chain space i make a chain of three insert the hook into the chain space in the top motif make single crochet chain of three and single crochet into the next chain space in the current motif chain of three and single crochet into the chain space chain of three and single crochet into the chain space in the current motif let's stop and look what i have done i started the joining at this side i used i used single crochet and chain spaces so keep working in this way till the corner and at this point i will show you how to join in the middle joining point so continue working with your own work with each chain space till the corner once i have done all my chain spaces in the current motif and as you remember i did joining points in the same time and at this moment i will show you how to make the middle joining point once i have done single crochet and chain of three according to my pattern i have to make treble crochet three together one two three there is the middle joining point i put from the back side i insert the hook into the same chain stitch that i work it into so as you can see i join it before into this chain stitch so insert the hook into the first motif make single crochet then chain of three make treble crochet three together one two three pull through then chain of three insert the hook into the chain space make single crochet chain of three and and single crochet into the next chain space chain of three and single crochet into the chain space in the side motif chain of three and to work with a single crochet here what i have at this point it is very beautiful and seamless in the same time so continue working in this way till the end of this row you should repeat in the same way as i did on the first side you should repeat in the same way as i showed you in the first side let's look at the corner here you should make the single crochet to the fourth chain stitch in the chain space in the corner not into the chain space 
as I did here, like this. So keep working this way till the end of this row. Then you should complete your motif in the same way as I show with you in this video tutorial. So this is the same pattern and you will get a large piece of work. Then you should remove a long piece of yarn along the stitches on the back side of the project using the sewing needle or a crochet hook. Let's look what I have done. Here what I have at this point. My square motif consists of six rounds. For this project you just need to know how to make chain spaces and treble crochet and single crochet as well. Also you have seen in this video tutorial how to join such motifs together in large piece of work. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss new video tutorials. See you next time and please write comment below this video what you will get with me. It was Maria from Crochet Fashion. Bye!